Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Ages Kingdom. In this class, I would like to take topic from Child Health Nursing for third year BSc and second year GNM and MSc Speciality. And whatever topics I am discussing, it is all repeated questions. And uh, uh, in a different way, it is asked. It is for 15 marks or 5 marks. And in between, whatever terminologies I am using, that can be useful for your 2 marks questions and for GNM one word answers. And just you can listen my topic. I will give you a complete information about the topic. That's up to you that how you organize the content and how you write. So with my explanation, you can able to get the marks and you can able to pass. But if you want a high score and if you want a in-depth knowledge, you need to uh, open standard textbooks and study. Okay. And today's class, I would like to take topic on IMNCA. So when you speak about IMNCA, it is a, I think a fourth unit from child health nursing and when you see uh, IMNCA and I think even in Norset also they have asked the questions uh, regarding IMNCA, IMCA and what is the main purpose and in IMNCA what is the category of age group such questions also they are asking and it is very important question. I M N C I. It is asked for 15 marks. So just I'll give you a complete information. It is up to you how much elaboratively you will write and get a score. Integrated management of neonatal and childhood illness. Neonatal and childhood illness. Here integrated management means it is a, a complete care to the child. Whether child is in a sickness or sick, a child is in a health or child requires a preventive care or child requires a rehabilitation care it is all together we are providing complete care to the child and which child in the previous class I have discussed under 5 years they mentioned here this program even IMNCI also is giving service to the children below 5 years but they are categorizing into two sections so that is young infants so that is from 0 to 2 months we call it as neonatal period so 0 to uh, 2 months is one stage and 2 months to 5 years we call them as a child or children and the services whatever you are providing to the neonates and child integrated management of neonate and childhood illness and we so instead of neonatal Mm, separate period just they mentioned as a CA integrated management of childhood illness it used to be called and now it is called as a integrated management of neonate and childhood illness why they mentioned neonate means there are 10 millions of children dying every year throughout the world due to several conditions associated with the neonatal period I think already I have discussed in the early classes what is neonate, who is infant, who is toddler. So neonate considered as a 0 day to 28 days or first one month of life we call it as a neonate. So here they categorize from 0 to 2 months is called it as a young infant and in young infant whatever conditions comes that is all are very critical and child can die very easily. That's why instead of IMCN they have renamed as IMNCA integrated management of neonatal and childhood illnesses yes tell me what are the examples for childhood illness and this complete program is for below five years okay it is very clear below five years children only they are taking care and what are the ESS are there in child so commonly uh, occurring illnesses in child below oh, two months or young infants we say it as a pneumonia. It can be due to aspiration or it can be due to uh, lack of immunity or less immunity. So commonly pneumonia is very common and second one anemia. Anemia can be due to any congenital uh, diseases and apart from this malaria, measles and all six killer diseases. All six killer diseases like diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, this kind of disease along with the protein, energy, malnutrition also. So this is all common conditions you see even in the neonate, even in the children below 5 years. So especially pneumonia, 
then uh, diarrhea is very very common and anemia protein energy malnutrition sepsis or like any infections or the gastroenteritis this is all comes under diarrheal category okay so this is all called as illnesses that's why they started this program integrated management of childhood and neonatal illness so these illnesses all are manageable and first thing it can be preventable and second thing it can be manageable okay so what is the main features of this program is it helps to manage the cases because illness is there some illness so the illness is already i have listed like malaria measles diphtheria pertussis and uh, diarrhea protein energy malnutrition sepsis worm infestations this is all illness so first main target of this program is manage the case this is the thing you need to understand very clearly how you will manage the case yes can we take a normal case also to the icu no this is call it as a case management system in imnc any child comes to either uh, phc or uhc or uh, to the anganwadi worker or during health survey if you find any cases what you have to do so that is called management of case so this management of case is classified by color coding system it is very very important question okay already i listed some of the disease conditions all the disease conditions like diarrhea protein energy malnutrition gastroenteritis malaria measles okay these all conditions we manage it how to manage means by color coding system suppose a child is a mild case of protein energy malnutrition just started mild symptoms it is not so severe so we have to treat at home then further we are going to give color as green they have illness okay but it is in a mild so we can manage the case at home at home the color coding system is green color okay that is like moderate condition not severe not mild then we have to treat the case at opd best examples diarrhea so if diarrhea mild means we can go and check the baby and check the status by ask look feel with this methods we will assess the case okay if case is okay then what you have to do is we have to encourage the mother to continue the breast feeding at home if it is a mild moderate means we have to treat case at opd basis case case at opd basis the color system is yellow the color system is yellow then if it is a most urgent and child already with severe critical condition by look after asking all the information ask look and feel with these three methods we will manage the case okay we don't require any major investigations or x ray or uh, diagnostic investigations there is three techniques in imnc we are using it is for free of cost it is there in health workers skills ask look feel with this we can classify the case mild moderate or severe and based on that we will give color coding system green at home yellow at opd and pink at most urgent very severe case and it needs to be either referral it needs to be hospitalized hospitalized care so this is called case management system and overall imnc in main target is manage the case because already they have some illness manage the case and second thing main other important goal of the imnc is reduce the causes suppose a child is suffering with a worm infestations we have to control that worm infestations by giving some albendazole or mebex or mebendazole so metrogil like that so we have to reduce the cause second goal and the third one is uh, increasing the nutrition because almost in all five year children we may face because india is a developing country so we may face difficulties like nutritional problems so increasing the nutrition this is the main three goals of imnc is that clear so then we will see what are the components of imnc okay we are saying so many things to manage the case but what are the components are required for imnc is first one is 
worker skill either ANM or either uh, any nurse is there we need to increase the skills the first component is we need to because they should have enough knowledge for ask look and feel and second one is increasing the health system that means we should raise because according to Almata conference of primary health care each house the health care facility should reach that is the meaning of increasing the health care system and the third one is increasing the family and community practice because uh, everybody's health is in everybody's hand because it is not somebody will come and always control or always take care of it so there is always family and community practice also should be increased then only we can able to manage the case and we can able to reduce the causes also understood so that is about IMNCA so I discussed about the main uh, intention of IMNCA full form of IMNCA and features of IMNCA and what is the main goal of IMNCA and next what are the components should be and there are two stages are there in IMNCA that, that is young infants that is 0 to 2 months and children is 2 to 2 months to 5 years 2 months to 5 years there are two stages are there so first Two months, all cases require it as a neonatal conditions. It can be by congenital or it can be by developmental or it can be due to infections or it can be due to accidents or injuries. So that is all young infants. And two months to five years, it's a common conditions will be there mostly diarrhea, protein energy malnutrition, malaria and all communicable diseases are very common. Okay. And in this condition already several times I have listed in this Malaria, measles, um, sepsis, pneumonia also is very common condition. So this is all when we treat that is called it as a case management. That's called it as a case management. And already uh, main uh, case management system is based on uh, color coding system, based on the assessment. Okay. Now I am going to explain you one example of case management in INSCA. So let's take a condition of protein energy malnutrition. It's a very 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 important question and it is for 15 marks several times asked. Even for uh, uh, MSS also I am saying it is a 15 marks several times asked question. Just listen, understand the topic, you can write more. Okay. So in INSCA, case management so already I have given examples, case management for pneumonia, PEM, diarrhea, malaria and measles and all communicable diseases you can list out now. Okay, so now if I am going to take a case management of PEM, yes, this can be assessed even at home level by what means? So first one is case management, we are going to assess, we are going to assess, how you have to assess, can we carry any mission or any investigations or any lab test, lab test? no, just assess by using with your critical, that's why I told the components, you need to increase the skills of the workers, then only they can able to analyze the case also, ask. This is completely from our mouth. Then look. Then feel. Yes, this is called it as a case management system. So before considering that they are mild, moderate or severe, we need to assess. It is in our hand. Ask for what? What is the problem? And when it is started? And where the pain or where the problem is there? and how it is occurring like frequently or existing continuously or some gap is there all these questions you have to ask what, when, where, how and who is involved all these questions need to be asked for getting a complete information okay you have asked all the information that uh, uh, when he start, the baby starts becoming weak and uh, when he has gone for routine health checkups and what kind of food the baby we is eating and what type of recent disease conditions are there, everything we will ask. Now we have to look. Look what? 
so this now we are not carrying any investigations or any things so what you have to do is you have to look what is the body structure because growth monitoring plays an important role in underfed clinics and preventive pediatrics so we have to look because height and weight can be uh, checked by routine investigations and routine uh, uh, checkups so we just look for what what kind of body physics physics is there like bmi uh, what is his baby's height and what is the baby's weight then look whether baby is active or dull in nature or baby is having any bodily changes either hair changes are there or skin changes are there any pigmentations are there all the things we have to look we have to look look for nails capillary refilling look for uh, skin turgor okay in case of diarrhea all these things then you have to feel you have to feel you have to feel means maybe it is by uh, mm, doing a pulse or maybe checking by pp or maybe uh, touching if suppose baby, baby is suffering with a fever touching all the things you have to feel then based on this ask look feel you will come to the conclusion of three things so you will get lot of information and based on that you will categorize the child mild moderate or severe then if child is mild very just started symptoms by using a fast look feel then you can treat at now treatment okay this is assessment and this is a decision you can say like a diagnosis then treatment what you have to do is mild moderate and very severe and mild can be treated at home treated at home the color coding system is green color coding system is green and if you take a moderate then it is yellow color this is treatment at opd treatment at opd and color is yellow and severe means then the treatment at hospital hospital then it is in pink color it is in pink color this is called case management system for any disease if they ask for any exam like write a case management system for diarrhea or pem or anything they ask you need to write all these things and based on this you will give a color coding system of uh, green here and yellow here and pink here and no need that this is the thing this is that by seeing the color coding system itself this imc integrated management of neonatal and childhood illness will decide that child is in a which stage and what type of treatment is required i hope i gave you a valuable information to you to uh, score the marks for 15 marks and if you need some more details you can kindly go through a standard textbooks if you really like my class please do subscribe because i am taking lot of effort in this age for preparation and i have seen so many videos in youtube and all the classes are mostly recorded in hindi and that is what i started taking classes in english please do appreciate if you need any if you are expecting any modifications in my class please do suggest me and definitely i will try to improve and uh, implement it in next my videos thank you